Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Towns asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? He don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could, but we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quote Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration. That completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. I guessed you'd ask about the Angara. It's a good reason to say hi. That's not... This is about history, not you and... Me and... I... I need to finish this. So, the Angara, your thoughts on the Alliance? The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. The Angara say yes. I don't see why not. I wonder who gets to make that call. The Angara don't have much of a government left. Okay, that's... Look, camera off. I need to say something. I feel like you want to get closer to me than an interview. I think I might. What about you? I want... Oh, this isn't right. It's not ethical to date an interview subject. But once the documentary's done, we could... Get to know each other better. I could be spoken for by then. I wouldn't interfere with your life. What happens with me stays with me. But if you want to share your heart, I'd like that. Once the documentary's finished. 
Then I'll be patient. It'll be something to look forward to. Thank you. Just a couple more interviews and let's see what happens. Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Tan sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? You're back safe, you... No, no, Kerry, professional. First things first. Tan sent a little gift for your positive message. I'd make the most of it. Today's a tough one, the Exiles. Probably the most live wire topic for our leaders. You've met the treacherous mutineers at Kadara Port. Some think the Exiles are a menace to be eradicated. The Exiles have as many problems as the Initiative. Not every outlaw wants us dead. Wow, it's almost heresy to hear that the Exiles are anything but filthy... Well, Exiles. I wish I could draw this out, but I have a meeting. Sorry. Apparently some colonists want to talk about the series. Maybe they'll be willing to go on camera. Hakeem, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. I'm sorry, Lana. They're just trying to boost our morale. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. They didn't hurt you, did they? Nothing's hurt except my dignity. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. You're back. My arrest was a clerical error. Translation, our heroic pathfinder took an interest and now you're bad PR. Truth hurts. A pathfinder can handle the dangers out there. For us ordinary people, it's too much. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? People deserve the truth. Today and a thousand years from now. Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. And that will be the grand finale to my documentary. I'm free to take a break with whomever I like. You mean... I hope you still feel that something. I still do. Meet me at Vortex later. We deserve a night out. You made it. I ordered some snacks. You like these, don't you? I do, actually. Thank you. And I asked the bartender to signal if you're... if you know who comes by. It's funny, I know so much about you already. I guess this is your chance to get to know me. Then tell me everything, mysterious Miss Tavessa. Like, how did he get into journalism? My parents were ambassadors. I had a misspent youth sailing around the bay and going to fancy diplomatic parties. Thing is, a lot of politics gets decided at those parties. History's made, and no one's watching. One day, I put down my cocktail and picked up a camera. I got a taste of the diplomatic life. My father was once a military attaché. On the Citadel, right? If my parents hadn't disowned me, we might have met sooner. I know what this is. Out there, you have another life. But when you come home, maybe we can belong together. Of course. This already feels special, you and me. Something special? Goddess, I want you to whisper that in my ear. What if we skip out, have drinks at my place instead? What are we having? Whatever you'd like. You made it back. You always come back. I was worried about you after the Ket attack. I wasn't afraid of them, just afraid for you. Everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and, and I guess you'll be busy too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well then, we'll both have something to hold on to.
Meridian. Now that's history in the making. 